what again? Say what again? I dare you. What do Samuel L. Jackson? I got enough friends. Bruce Willis. <laughs> James Earl Jones. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Emily Blunt. The memory of his volumes brings a smile. And I have in common, we're all stutterers. You probably don't know that because obviously we earn our living by speaking, but we are still stutterers. Are you cured? Am I cured? Are you? None of us is cured, but our stuttering was much worse when we were young. It was emotional because it was terrifying. I mean, you're just gripped with terror being a stutterer most of the time. Even now, she avoids proposing movie scenes. If I want to pitch a scene, I can't do it. What would that be like? It would be like, um, hey, John, how about we start it, but this time he could walk in and he could be like, um, he could, he could, he could say about the 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 lights. You could change the lights, and it just doesn't look convincing suddenly. Whereas it was a good idea to change the lights. I would rather say, "Give me the scene, and I'll write it, and then I'll send it to you." <laughs> so you still avoid. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Certain things, yeah. Like if I'm calling someone and they go, "What's your name?" It's tough. I have to. I can feel myself talking myself into it. Like as the phone's ringing, I'm like. And so you avoid saying your name? Sometimes, yeah, on the phone. And yet you're this hugely successful actress. Tell how it began. As a kid, you just shut up. I didn't want to be in any of the school plays. I did not want to read out my poem in class. I had a teacher when I was 10 and I needed to go to the bathroom and I needed to just say, I need to go to the bathroom. And I couldn't say it. And she goes, oh, spit it out. And it just makes it so much worse. Just to Never be ashamed just, of. Yeah, you did not talk about it. So, so English repressed male tactic, but it was not <laughs> talked about at all. And here we are talking about it yeah. because we think that'll help? Well, I think, it, I think we have to destigmatize this thing. I mean, it's just nobody talks about it. Even in her family where her grandfather, uncle and cousin stuttered too. Stuttering often runs in families, and like deafness, autism, and colorblindness, it's more common among boys. You're unusual because it's mostly men. Yes. I didn't realize that. One in four stutterers are girls. We men have a lot of problems you women <laughs> don't have. You are literally the last person on earth I want to see. It's slap the out of you. I really could. Blunt rarely stutters when she acts. Come find me when you wake up because playing a character often allows stutterers to be fluent. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? That's why we rarely hear these movie stars stutter. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. When I was on stage, my stutter disappeared. Likewise, in school, Blunt discovered she didn't stutter when doing impressions. Even though you were afraid to speak, you were doing funny voices? I think with my friends, you know, I could mess around in the playground and do silly voices. When she was 12, a theater teacher noticed that. So he'd watched me, I guess, and he said, I think you should do the class play. Why don't you just do it in a silly voice, you know? So I did a really stupid Northern English accent, and it did allow for great fluency. Did this make you feel, oh my God, I can speak? Yeah. Was it different? Yeah, it was, it was emotional. I wouldn't say, even though it would make a great soundbite, that it became the moment where I decided I want to be an actress. It's not true. but. I have to be grateful to it because it did free up my speech in a huge way. It was the beginning of it. You can do other voices as an actor, as a news person. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a normal person talking. So you could just I try and text an accent next time. Just see if people would find that strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be strange. So. <laughs> what finally diminished my stuttering, as I reported it on 2020, was this place the Communications Research Institute. They retaught us stutterers how to make each sound. To do that, they slowed us down to two seconds per syllable. Re then for eight hours a day, everyone sits in little rooms talking to this box. It was so boring, but I was motivated. I was yeah. willing to do all the practice and we were like cows mooing at each other. <laughs> But, but actually, as you were doing it, to me as a stutterer, it made me feel really relaxed. It really did. Like, just hearing you do it, I was like, oh, that would work. 
That treatment helped many and afterward. I wanted to just talk and talk and talk and not stop. Because when you can say what, what you want, it, it's the greatest feeling in the world. For me, this was a cure. And I was like a cork had been taken out of a bottle. Suddenly I can talk to people. Including 2020's anchors. I stuttered pretty badly. I would talk like this a lot of the time. That stutter became real once I started. If you stuttered badly, why did you go into television? I didn't intend to go on the air. I came into television as a researcher. And when I first went on the air, I had lots of trouble and was about to quit. And that's when I found that clinic in Virginia that helped me. This clinic has since closed. And now I understand that their treatment didn't work for everyone. I got letters saying, no, this didn't work for me. I don't know if one method will work for everyone. I think you have to keep trying different approaches. Before I was finally helped, I'd tried lots of dubious approaches. I'm struck by how confident some therapists are. They say, oh, I can cure that. Yeah. The hypnotist says, oh, I can cure stuttering. So I did that. No Nothing. effect. Transcendental meditation. I still do it. <laughs> But I just, not, I not just for nap. Stuttering. No, no, I never did it for stuttering, but I just do it so I can have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you Acupuncture, do? Acupuncture. Okay. Biofeedback. Scream therapy. Scream therapy into like a pillow. They all like. work briefly because they're a distraction. Ladies and gentlemen of the. <laughs> this lawyer and my cousin Vinny demonstrate some. On 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 January. He slaps the table and rubs his eye. But once a distraction becomes automatic, it no longer works. So you have to add more movements. You've seen people, they contort their whole bodies to get a syllable out. One time it worked to go like this. Just to hit something as you're trying to then say. But the next time yeah. that didn't work. And so they... Yeah, no, you see a lot of the ticks in the head. I used to like turn my head away like that to try and get a word out, just to force it out. A better approach is to do what the former CEO of General Electric did. Tell me about your... your, your how could you run this big company with this stutter, I asked him. What did he say? And he said, I just didn't give a shit. Wow. But I always did, and I still do. It's embarrassing. For sure. I understand. I would love not to give a shit. I think it would be great. That seems to be what Elon Musk does. The... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And stuttering away is what the American Institute for Stuttering teaches. Both Blunt and I are on the board. Stutter openly, st st stutter free. But neither I nor Blunt want to stutter in front of people. It really misrepresents you. You know what you want to say. You know who you are as a person, but you can't convey it. And it's just imprisoning in that way. So, imprisoning is a good word. Yeah, I you felt just, like I was in prison. Yeah, like there's a sort of imposter in you that you're like, this isn't me, it's not who I am. So I think it's just getting past that. And I think that's the hardest thing to get past is the shame. It's the hardest part of it. We shouldn't be ashamed? Don't be ashamed. Everyone's got something. That's just our thing. Thank you, Emily Blunt. Thank you so much. Glad I can speak more freely now. If you'd like more information about stuttering, we list several resources in the description below this video.